Hey y'all, welcome back. Robin with Robin Southern Nest. So as you can see, Sunny D was trying to help me. He loves jumping on this counter because he um, likes water out of the tap. So sometimes at night um, and during the day, I'll give him water out of the faucet because he just loves it. But um, today I'm tackling my bathroom, our loft, the kitchen, and also our um, living room. So I wanted to bring you along today. Well, I um, did a few chores around the house, so I hope you guys enjoy. In, in the bathroom, I always use an antibacterial spray, and my favorite is from Method. So I'll go ahead and link all the products that I use today in the description of the video so you just pull it down he snuck up there again he just loves jumping on the sink so as you can imagine it was time for a cleaning So I figured this video is perfect timing for those of you who are having guests over for Thanksgiving this year and just need some motivation to clean your house. I highly recommend watching cleaning videos. I typically even watch them even before I film a cleaning video because it just gives me so much motivation um, to get all those things done when you see somebody else doing it. So if you are in need of some inspiration for cleaning your house before your guests come over for Thanksgiving, just keep on watching. So our cat really likes to play in our upstairs loft, like he spreads his toys everywhere, he runs, he has his zoomies as we like to call them at night. So this area definitely gets the most fur um, from Sunny D whenever he's playing up here. So it was well overdue for a good vacuuming. So um, I'm actually not using my Dyson today because it's kind of on the fritz. So um, I just pulled out one of my old vacuums. Um, that I cleaned out and it actually works just fine. So that's what I'm doing here. So the other day I realized how flattened out our couch cushions were. So um, these cushions are actually attached to the back of the sofa. And I know a lot of you might have that same kind of um, design. But what I did is I found the zipper on the bottom of the cushion and I just reached my hand up into the stuffing and just kind of fluffed it up that way. Um, so if any of you have a sofa that with attached cushion, just see if it has a zipper and you can literally just fluff up the, the stuffing inside of them to make your cushions nice and fluffy again.
And moving on downstairs, all the counters were looking really messy. And even though I had already like done this last night after dinner, I still feel like they weren't as clean as I'd like them. So I'm just going down with some all-purpose spray on all the countertops and services. And also, like the spray that I use makes the kitchen smell amazing. So I think that's also an incentive when I um, clean my counters is that I just love the way it smells. So I'll link it above for you guys. So we do a lot of cooking during the week, probably about like four to five meals typically. So this stove gets used every single day and my least favorite chore to do in the kitchen has got to be cleaning the stove. Anybody else like that? Like it's just, I just despise it. But today I'm just using one of those um, handy wipes um, just to get all the crumbs up. I just kind of dampened it slightly and then used my all purpose spray. So as you can see, everything looks super bare in our dining room, like I've taken all the stuff off the shelves and the cabinet behind our table. Um, the decor is super minimal around here since I put it all away since we'll be moving in a few weeks. So um, this table definitely needed some dusting and for this I'm using a Method wood spray. Um, it's an almond scent and it smells delightful so that's what I'm doing here. I'm um, just moving things around and getting all the dust off the um, surfaces. I've been so sad that I haven't been able to decorate our um, coffee bar this year for Christmas, but as soon as I get settled in our new house, I'm definitely, this is probably the first thing I'm going to decorate because especially like with lights for Christmas, I want to switch out some of these for um, actual Christmas lights. So I'll definitely have a um, video coming up on decorating this coffee bar. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be on my top priority as soon as I move. Um, it's just one of those things that I love to decorate and it looked just so sad right here because it's so bare, 
but I know it has to be cleaned and so I left a few of the decor items up but it's just down to the essentials at this point. So anytime I am cleaning the house, I typically have the music blaring and I was listening to um, Christmas music on our Alexa. I just asked her to play like top um, holiday hits and it definitely gets you in the mood and it keeps the tempo up while you're cleaning. So I highly suggest doing that. Of course, I couldn't use those same songs on this video, unfortunately, but I hope it still is festive for you guys. So our Roku sensor, I hate it. Like it lost its stickiness and I haven't found more stuff to like attach it with. So I just shoved it up there for now, just so I can dust off our mantle. Um, I just can't get over how bare it looks in here and it's driving me crazy, but I know that we are moving in a couple weeks, so I just have to deal with it. So at least it's clean. <laughs> So I wanted to give you a quick little view of our front room where I've had most of the stuff packed up. I do need to put away my pillows, but it's just kind of weird to live in a space that's not decorated. Um, we just get used to like, you know, having things around, but I didn't want it to seem too bare in here. So I did put away most of the decor on the shelves, as you can see, nothing on the surfaces. Um, so yeah, it is getting real, you guys, and it shouldn't be long. Thank you guys so much for flying by and I hope you guys have a great day.